At that stage, I thought everyone on the aeroplane was afraid. There's no doubt about it. Everyone on the aeroplane was afraid at that time. And no one was courageous enough, I don't know what you suppose you call it, moral courage to stand up and say, I'm not going. And I feel myself, if someone had, anyone had stood up and said, I'm not going, I feel no one would have gone. I sat down very low in my seat, thinking if this thing, if the belly of this thing does go up, we hit the roof, at least the seat saves my head. So I got down low for this reason, put my feet up on the, the chair in front of me. And as, let's say, I prepared myself for what I thought might happen. I watched the wheels lock and I knew he was breaking again. So I braced myself. I remember thinking to myself at the time, Christ, I'm going to get killed. And I've just made the big time. I never see my family again, and I won't see my parents. I remember thinking, I'm going to get killed in Germany. I can't speak German. I was there with blackness, and I couldn't understand this, and I thought I was dead. And I thought, well, I must be in hell because everything's black. I had no sense of fear. And uh, I didn't think that I had time to be afraid after what happened because a child, a child, I heard a child cry inside what was left of the aircraft. And uh, I think this brought me to my senses. And uh, I went looking for it. <laughs>